Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Team Viewer app, which is a great way to access your home computer or your laptop from anywhere you are using your Android phone or tablet. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you this review is sponsored in part by AntiTags.com. AntiTags.com is a really cool website and a great place to get NFC stickers and NFC keychains for use with your Android phone. Don't know what NFC is? Head over to AntiTags.com. Lots of explanation over there. I'll show you all kinds of cool tricks and things you can do with NFC tags. So, Team Viewer. Uh, Team Viewer is a company basically allowing remote access to uh, PCs, uh, to computers. Uh, you can use it to uh, control, say, your desktop at home from your laptop when you're away from home, but they also have an Android app. And using that Android app, you can fully access your computer uh, on your Android phone or on your tablet. The interface is simple and uh, intuitive and just works really well to do this. Um, and there are a lot of other apps that, that allow remote access, um, but I don't think any of them are quite as good as TeamViewer. TeamViewer is the one that I think is the best, and it's free. You don't have to pay for it. Completely free, which is awesome. So uh, let's hop on my uh, phone and my tablet, and I will show you how it works. So here we are on my tablet. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, in case you just wanted to know. And here we have the uh, Team viewer uh, app right here. Of course I have already installed Team Viewer on my uh, computers uh, and you must do that in order to be able to access them from your tablet or your phone. Um, pretty easy to set up though and free and once you do you hit that and you open it up. Now if I wasn't already logged in it would ask me for my login information. Once you do log in with your uh, email and password then you're good to go. I'm going to click my partners and you'll see I have three computers that I can access my uh, current notebook my desktop and then my laptop which is my old laptop that I dropped and broke the screen so now the computer part of it still works so I have it hooked up to my uh, TV as an entertainment computer so I can remotely control any of those uh, I'm going to choose my desktop um, here are the different uh, gestures that you use while browsing. Of course, if you check this, that won't show up anymore. But uh, you tap to click, tap and hold to right click. You drag around for mouse movement. You can double tap and drag for drag and drop. Two fingers to scroll and pinch to zoom. Or as we say in the south, pinch. Pinch to zoom. So now that we know how to control it, we click continue and here we go. This is my desktop screen right here. Um, as you can see my desktop is crowded. I have lots of software on it and as I'm moving my finger around you see the little cursor moving and if I wanted to open up Google Chrome I could just double click that and it's opening up Google Chrome now. Of course this is on my computer, my desktop and it's just mirroring it onto my tablet for me. So I could go up here and click in the bar and then here's a little keyboard button right here. If you hit the keyboard button, keyboard pops up so I can type YouTube and it's already coming up so we'll hit return and then we'll get rid of that. And we can go to, uh, you see the cursor right there, little finger just like as if you were there. I'm gonna click my channel. Um, and if I wanted to scroll, then two fingers, and you can scroll with two fingers, and then bring the cursor, Android app reviews, we'll click play all. So I want you to see that you get the sound through here too. Now the sound, of course, isn't going to be quite as clear. Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFooter.com with another Android app review. So I clicked on it to pause it. You could click uh, full screen. It's going to be full screen. Go down here and click back to regular 
first screen. Um, of course the sound quality isn't the same because it's taking sound that's playing through my desktop, sending it over the internet into my tablet. So, uh, it's not going to be the same as if you were right there, but the fact that you even have sound and video is pretty amazing. And this is all my desktop. So if there were, you know, a document that I needed, I could go into my folder and go into documents. I could attach it to an email, create an email and attach it and send it to myself so I'd have it. Um, anything. You also have Control, Alt, um, Windows buttons up here, as you can see, which you can use. And then there are these buttons down here. If you hit the little arrow right here in the right, that just takes all that away so that you have full view. And then if you want it back, you just hit the little keyboard circle and it comes back. This is your settings. Gives You can uh, look at instructions, show your session info. The quality, you can change the quality of the display. I'll leave it to automatic because that's going to optimize it. Resolution, uh, you can... Uh, you can change the resolution. I don't recommend you do that. Remove wallpaper. I have that so that when it shows my desktop, it's just with a black background. And then show remote cursor. So, different settings you have. The little wrench right here gives you the ability to do a control alt delete to lock your computer, to reboot your computer, or block remote user input. The finger right here, if you tap that, it gives you the instructions again so you can see those. And if you hit the keyboard, of course you get the keyboard. So pretty simple. Um, there's not really a lot to it. Just the fact that it works is really uh, what it's all about. Um, to right click, you long press. If I long press that, then my right, uh, right click option shows up so that I can then select one of those. So um, pretty cool, pretty uh, nifty app. You can also zoom. So if you can't read something, you can pinch so that you can read it better. And uh, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to grab my phone and show you how it works uh, on my phone as well. I'm going to close out. You hit the X and close. And now you're out of it. So let's take a look at it on my phone. So here we are on my phone. You see the same little team viewer icon there. So we'll hit that. Um, and I need to enter my password. I don't want you guys to know that. So you're not going to see this part. And you see after you enter your login information, it looks exactly like the tablet version. Just a little bit smaller. Click my partners. You still see the same available computers. I'm going to use my desktop. Um, I'm going to remote control using password. Gives you the same uh, uh, instructions. And here we go. So you still have uh, the same cursor. It's really tiny, but you can probably see it. But it's okay because if you needed to zoom in, you could just zoom in like that. And then as you move around, it also moves the screen around to help you find what you're looking for. So if you need to find a document, you open it up. This is an open house I did for real estate. I could uh, zoom out. So if you live in Southern California and you need a house, get in touch with me. I could be your real estate agent. Um, there you go. And I'm like, okay, I see that. I'm going to close it out now. Uh, close this folder out. So it just gives you full access to your computer from your phone, which is uh, amazing. Um, you can still do video and stuff. You could open... A web browser and email yourself a document if you'd forgotten to bring it or upload it through Dropbox or whatever you wanted to do. Um, but that's how it works. 
you see this little box over here it's uh, right here it's sort of uh, grayed out that's because this is the box letting this computer know if someone were on it it would be letting them know that hey some this device is accessing your computer um, you know just in case because you could be using this to like for example help your mother or dad or brother or sister help them do something on their computer because they don't know how to do it and you could help them that way um, so a lot of a uh, lot of functionality again free for home and personal use uh, and just gives you full access to your laptop or desktop computer while you're on your phone or your tablet as you can see it works really good that was Team Viewer, the Android app, as you can see, allows you full remote access to your home computer um, or your laptop if it's on and connected to the internet um, from anywhere you are. So if you're out and about and you, uh, you, know, you forgot some document that you needed to have, you can access your home computer and email it to yourself or do any of a lot of different things. Anyway, very cool app and completely free for home slash personal use. So uh, click the link uh, to hop over to Google Play, click the link in the description and uh, add it to your phone. Don't forget you will have to install it on your computer as well in order to gain the access. Anyway, that is it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in having this type of access uh, of their home computer when they're away, then share this with them on Facebook, Reddit, Google Play, uh, Google Play, Google Plus, um, through email, all those ways are there. Pick your poison. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with future uh, uh, reviews I do. Not just Android app reviews, but product reviews, dog product reviews, tasker tutorials, NFC tutorials, all kinds of cool things. So uh, you can subscribe to my channel for that, or just subscribe to the playlist you're interested in. Anyway, that is it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone or tablet is only going to be as good as you make it.